Comrade Greg Smith, $10,000. We only have five more minutes to go. Don't make me look shame. Bring the money, come. Comrades, last call. Time running out, four minutes to go. Come, come quick. The bus soon leave. And this bus has a good driver. Comrade George Freckleton. Progressive lead. $10,000 in raw cash. KCC counselors and candidates, 7000 Yes. Region 5. Region 4. The great Region 4. I understand that the nomenclature is the great Region 4. There you go. $85,000. Put your hands together for them. South Central, St. Catherine constituency, where the candidate is Comrade Morrison, $10,000. Comrade Philip Paulwell, $50,000. Sandy Bay Division of Eastern Hanover, $10,000. Eastern St. Andrew, $30,000. And comrades, comrade. Charlotte Hills of Region 6, that great region, $50,000. You can see it, it's you can Comrades, there is a pledge from Comrade Beverly Manley, but it has a condition, and the condition is very simple. Is this, the General Secretary and Comrade Mark Golden must dance. But they don't have to dance together, they can dance separate. So put on the music now and let me get me 20,000. Comrades are ready to dance, but they say they are not so cheap. You have to raise it. So, Comrade Bev, how much if you want them dance? I know if I go and dance, it's a hundred, but them can't dance, give them fifty.
Comrade Bev is prepared to pay the 50,000, but she says they must choose the tune they want to dance to. Which tune? Mark said, nearer my God to thee. Region won $50,000. Friends of Eastern St. Thomas, $10,000. Mercedes Campbell from the Jamaica Progressive League, 50 greenback. And it has Capitol Hill on it, so it's good money. Comrade Doreen Forbes, $10,000. Peter. Peter. Bev. Them say them have two left foot. <laughs> you can't see it. It's Comrades, the counter proposal is this. If they don't want to dance, they have to pay the $50,000. I hear, I hear that Bev says she moved it from 20 to 50 to make them dance. Now, if they don't want to dance, they have to move it from 50 to 100. Comrades, comrades, another 50,000 from Comrade Peter Bunting and another 50,000 from Comrade Mark Golding. Thank you very much, Sister Bev. Hear me now? And Comrade Bev says, Comrade Bev says, seeing that they have decided, she will still give the $50,000. Thank you, Sister Bev. 50,000 from Comrade Beverly Manley. Comrade Upton Blake, five hundred dollars. Boy, boy. Now in the street there is violence, and not a lot of work to be done. Comrade, comrade, party leader. Down to Electric Avenue. Strong uh. So amazing how this 
world was made. I wonder if God is a woman. With a smile and a star, she'll protect you like a child. That's a woman. I wonder if God is a woman. Yeah! With a smile and a star, she'll protect you like a child. That's a woman. I wonder if God is a woman With a smile and a star She'll protect you like a child That's a woman
Thank you. Seka, seka, seka. Comrades. 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 Because Comrade Mark Golding was able to get a dance of our party leader, he has promised to put in another $50,000. Comrades, 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 let me, on behalf of the officers, the executive, and all the leadership of the party, thank you most sincerely for the contributions you made. We know that times are hard, times are difficult, but you gave it with your heart, your soul, and your body. So let me thank you from the very bottom of my heart, and may God continue to bless you all. Thank you. If, comrades, if you look, if you look to my left, your right, you will see the suitcase packed and ready to go. Look across that side there, ready to go, ready to go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, comrades. Comrades, thank you, Roger. Thank you, Roger, and thank all those who contributed. Comrades, I have a little problem, and I want you to help me solve it. Um, you know that we have Comrade T.J. Pattison in our midst. You see him, right? Well, one time he was my boss. He was not my boss any longer, so we can take some liberty. I ask the comrade leader to say a word or two, and him give me a little trouble. All those who are in favor of hearing one word from PJ, say aye. All right. Anybody against? Anybody against? All right. The eyes have it, and I'm. You see, if it was my boss first time, we'd be in trouble. But as chairman of this great party, and he as a former chairman knows that he must expect and respect the instructions of the chairman. I therefore, Comrade Pattison, beg you, ask you, come and say a word. Chairman, Comrade Portia Simpson, leader 
of the greatest political party in the Caribbean Sea. Comrade officers, comrade candidates, comrades all, in times gone by, we used to say PNP River come down bank to bank. What I see here today is not a river, is a PNP tsunami. And I warn all those on the low-lying areas of the political zone, it is time to move to higher ground. In all probability, this is going to be the last conference where the People's National Party assemble as the opposition. When the People's National Party meets in 2012, whether it is before independence, whether it is before the Olympics, whether it is after the independence, after the Olympics, the PNP is going to win street and lane. But it is not going to be done by wishful thinking. And it is not going to be done by complacency. Time come when everybody must be out ready to move into a new government that can restore hope and faith in the people of Jamaica and its government. You didn't come here today to hear me. You come here today to hear the person who is going to be returning to Jamaica House whenever, whenever, whenever the time comes. I just want to say it is time, once again, for the National Party, which is the PNP, to bring together everybody, all those who have been victims of the policies and the programs that have been abandoned or pursued with ineptitude, and to restore again a government that can move Jamaica forward, lift the people upward, forward ever, backward never. We are there in the struggle to God.
Comrades, you remember? PNP. <laughs> okay. Your sound soft, though. Uh, you remember I told you the comrade leader is going on precisely at 2.30. And you remember I said about 10 or 15 minutes before that is the star boy going to introduce her. All right. And so we're not doing badly. The, the campaign director, comrade Peter Phillips, is going to tell you a little about the campaign. But before that, Dukey, give me something there, give me something. And you know, in fairness to his wish parish, in fairness, DK, you weren't here. In fairness to Hanover, I want to hear from you. Hanover! I want you to give a big round of applause and I want them to stand. All members of the Diplomatic and Consular Corps, could you stand and could you give them a big round of applause? guests and we'd like to give all those other guests a big round of applause and I don't want you come to PNP conference and you know have no vote all those who have a vote put up your hand And you know that your name is on the voters list? All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, comrades. I'm going to invite Peter to the platform to tell you a little about the campaign. Give him a big round of applause. <laughs>
Comrade Chairman, Comrade Party Leader, Comrade Portia Simpson Miller, the next Prime Minister of Jamaica. Comrade candidates, comrade councillors and councillor candidates, excellencies of the diplomatic corps, specially invited guests, and to all the comrades, the workers, the warriors, the stalwarts, the heroes and the heroines of the People's National Party, one love. Comrades, I want to say a special word of welcome to all of those who are here today who make mistake in 2007 and come to say that they want to vote next time for the People's National Party. I want you to welcome them. We welcome them. We don't hold it against them. Those who make some mistake, I know there are plenty of people who vote for Labour last time. But you know, what I must say now is me and my neighbor say one term for Labour. Comrades, we are conscious in the campaign team that all of us have a mission to perform. And our mission is to ensure that the People's National Party wins the next election, that the People's National Party forms the next government of Jamaica, and that Comrade Portia Simpson Miller is elevated in Jamaica House to be the next Prime Minister of Jamaica. Everywhere we go, everywhere we go, the people of Jamaica are clear. They want a government that treats the workers of this country with respect. They want a government that doesn't unilaterally walk away from the contracts that they have signed with them. They want a government that will tell the truth in the parliament not say one thing one day and come and say a next thing on another day. They want a government that will manage the economy well and not victimize the Jamaican people. Ask the teachers if you say anything about them, the next thing you know there's a special audit on your school. They want a government that will be honest with respect to the taxes. And a government that does not victimize the JDIP is just the latest example of victimization of the hard-working taxpayers of Jamaica. There is no reason whatever why only one set of people in one set of constituencies must get their roads fixed and when everybody is paying taxes. And I tell you more, the JDIP is just an example of the mismanagement of the taxes of this country. They have borrowed the money from the Chinese. All of us have to pay it back. But the money is being wasted apart from being spent in a biased way. This year, they scheduled to spend 80 million US dollars, 26 billion Jamaican dollars. But it's only four months gone out of the year, and already they have more than a hundred million dollars worth of certificates to be paid. The money finished and the road don't fix yet. And I challenge them to tell the country the truth about this reality. It cannot.
go on this way. The Prime Minister promised supervision of the work by an independent consultant. That is months ago to date. The consultant has not been appointed. The People's National Party is insisting on transparency and the Prime Minister must fulfill his word. So now, comrades, we have a mission to perform. We cannot go on like this and the only way we can put an end to this mismanagement is to ensure that the People's National Party is elected as the next government of Jamaica. Then we can get a government committed to better management, a government committed to truth, a leader that you can trust in Portia Simpson Miller. All the candidates of the party who have been selected are on the platform. Councillor candidates are in place. And we are ready now for the elections. I want to know if you are ready. Are you ready? Yeah. You're ready to do the canvassing in the next few days and months. You're ready to pull out the voters. For the next week, I want every one of you to find one PNP person who don't enumerate and get them on the voters list for the September list. Are you willing to do that? You sound like you're ready. You're ready for Portia. You're ready for the PNP. You're ready to win the elections. Comrades, God bless you. Till we meet again on the campaign trail, one heart and one love. <laughs>